Melachim Rishon, 1 Kings 22. And they continued three years without war between Aram and Yashadael. And it came to pass in the third year that Yehushaphat, the king of Yehudah, came down to the king of Yashadael. And the king of Yashadael said unto his servants, Know ye that Ramoth in Gilad is ours, and we be still, and take it not out of the hand of the king of Aram. And he said unto Yehushaphat, Will you go with me to battle to Ramoth, Gilad? And Yahushaphat said to the king of Yashadael, I am as you are, my people as your people, my horses as your horses. And Yahushaphat said unto the king of Yashadael, Inquire, I pray you, at eth the word of Yahuwah today. Then the king of Yashadael gathered eth the prophets together, about four hundred men, and said unto them, Shall I go against Ramath Gilad to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up, for Adonai shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And Yahushaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of Yahuwah besides that we might inquire of him? And the king of Yashadael said unto Yahushaphat, There is yet one man, Mikayahu, the son of Yimla, by whom we may inquire of Eth Yahuwah. But I hate him, for he does not prophesy good concerning me, but evil. And Yahushaphat said, Let not the king say so. Then the king of Yashadael called an officer and said, Hasten hither, Mikayahu, the son of Yimla. And the king of Yashadael and Yahushaphat, the king of Yahudah, sat each on his throne, having put on their robes in a void place in the entrance of the gate of Shomoron, and all the prophets prophesied before them. And Sidikyahu, the son of Kene'ana, made him horns of iron, and he said, Thus says Yahuwah, With these shall you push eth the Aramim until you have consumed them. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilad and prosper, for Yahuwah shall deliver it into the king's hand. And the messengers that was, rather messenger that was gone to call Mikayahu, spoke unto him, saying, Behold now, the words of the prophets declare good, unto the king with one mouth. Let your word, I pray you, be like the word of one of them, and speak that which is good. And Mikayahu said, As Yahuwah lives, what Yahuwah says eth unto me, that will I speak. So he came to the king, and the king said unto him, Mikayahu, Shall we go against Ramoth Gilad to battle, or shall we forbear? And he answered him, Go and prosper, for Yahuwah shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure you that you tell me nothing but that which is true in the name of Yahuwah? And he said, I saw eth all Yashadael scattered upon the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And Yahuwah said, These have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. And the king of Yashadael said unto Yahushaphat, Did I not tell you that he would prophesy no good concerning me, but evil. And he said, 
Hear therefore the word of Yahuwah. I saw at Yahuwah sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And Yahuwah said, Who shall persuade at Achav that he may go up and fall at Remoth Gilad? And one said on this manner, and another said on that matter. Manner, rather. And there came forth a ruach, and stood before Yahuwah, and said, I will persuade him. And Yahuwah said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth, and I will be a lying ruach in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, You shall persuade him, and prevail also. Go forth, and do so. Now therefore, behold, Yahuwah has put a lying ruach in the mouth of all these your prophets, and Yahuwah has spoken evil concerning you. But Sidich Yahu, the son of Kena'ana, went near, and smote eth Mikeyahu on the cheek, and said, Which way went the ruach Yahuwah from me to speak unto you? And Mikeyahu said, Behold, you shall see in that day when you shall go into an inner chamber to hide yourself. And the king of Yashadael said, Take eth Mikeyahu and carry him back unto Amon, the governor of the city, and to Yoash, the king's son. And say, Thus says the king, Put eth this fellow in the prison, and feed him with bread of affliction, and with water of affliction, until I come in peace. And Mikeyahu said, If you return at all in peace, Yahuwah, has not spoken by me. And he said, Hearken, O people, every one of you. So the king of Yashadael and Yahushaphat, the king of Yahuda, went up to Ramoth Gilad. And the king of Yashadael said unto Yahushaphat, I will disguise myself and enter into the battle, but Put on your robes. And the king of Yashadael disguised himself and went into the battle. But the king of Aram commanded eth his thirty and two captains that had rule over his chariots, saying, Fight neither eth with small eth nor great, save only with eth the king of Yashadael. And it came to pass when the captains of the chariots saw Yahushaphat, that they said, Surely it is the king of Yashadael. And they turned aside to fight against him. And Yahushaphat cried out. And it came to pass, when the captains of the chariots perceived it was not the king of Yashadael, that they turned back from pursuing him. And a certain man drew a bow at a venture, and smote at the king of Yashadael between the joints of the harness. Wherefore he said unto the driver of his driver of his chariot, Turn your hand, and carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. And the battle in increased that day, and the king was stayed up in his chariot against the Aramim, and died at evening. And the blood ran out of the wound into the midst of the chariot. And there went a proclamation throughout the host about the going down of the sun, saying, Every man to his city, and every man to his own country. So the king died, and was brought to Shomoron, and they buried at the king in Shomoron, and one washed at the chariot in the pool of Shomoron, and the dogs licked up at his blood, and they washed his armor, according unto the word of Yahuwah which he spoke. 
Now, the rest of the acts of Achav and all that he did, and the ivory, rather ivory house which he made, and all the cities that he built, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yashara'el? So Achav slept with his fathers, and Achayaz Yahu, rather Achaz Yahu, his son, reigned in his stead. And Yahushaphat, the son of Acha, began to reign over Yahuda in the fourth year of Achav, king of Yashadel. And Yahushaphat was thirty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and five years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Azavah, the daughter of Shilchi. And he walked in all the ways of Acha, his father. He turned not aside from it, doing that which was right in the eyes of Yahuwah. Nevertheless, the high places were not taken away, for the people offered and burnt incense yet in the high places. And Yahushaphat made peace with the king of Yashara'el. Now the rest of the acts of Yahushaphat and his might that he showed and how he warred, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? And the remnant of the Sodomim, which remained in the days of his father Acha, he took out of the land. There was then no king in Edom, a deputy was king. Yahushaphat made ships of Tarshish to go to Ophir for gold, but they went not, for the ships were broken at Etzan Gever. Then said Ahaz Yahu, the son of Ahav, unto Yahushaphat, Let my servants go with your servants in the ships. But Yahushaphat would not. And Yahushaphat slept with his fathers and was buried with his fathers in the city of, the, of David, his father. And Yahuram, his son, reigned in his stead. Achaz, rather, Achaz Yahu, the son of Achav, began to reign over Yashadael in Shomoron, the seventeenth year of Yahushaphat king of Yahuda, and reigned two years over Yashadael. And he did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and walked in the way of his father, and in the way of his mother, and in the way of Yaravam, the son of Nivat, who made Eth Yashadael to sin. For he served Eth Baal and worshipped him, and provoked to anger at Yahuwah Elohai of Yashadael, according to all that his father had done.